many times I'm asked the question on when somebody passes away, what, what happens to the basis in the asset? Or another way to say it, they'll actually ask it this way. They go, either there's a death in the family or before the death, it's called, how much is the tax? How much tax do I have to pay? Well, what I want to talk about is first is we have the orchard. So this is a person and, and today they're alive. But the concern is when I pass away, what happens to the, to the gain or loss? So this tree, part of the orchard, so this is this person that's you know doing their estate planning. If the spouse's name is on maybe the house, husband and wife, or let's say it's an investment account. There's an investment account that's husband and wife. Well, when one of them pass away, what happens is that tree is literally cut in two. One half the tree, see, because husband and wife, they each own half and half. One half the tree stays at what they pay for those investments. The other half the tree goes to fair market value. What does that mean? The day after death, that half the tree could be sold for income taxes and no gain. Now, let's say here, this, this tree here, it's a piece of real estate and it's in the trust of the person that's gonna pass away. At that point in time, because the title of the tree, it belongs to the decedent, this goes 100% fair market value. So, as you can see here, the whole tree went there because the decedent owned the whole tree. Now the trust gets it. Here is pay on death. Well, pay on death means it's generally a bank account. It's just going to be paid on death. So that checking account or that CD, it's going to be, you, you, there is, again, the fair market value is actually the cash. But again, there's no gain here unless there's interest after death. Transfer on death. What happens is, is it's a piece of, it could be investment property, it could be farm, it could be business or whatever, but transfer on death means the decedent owned it. So a lot of times you'll see in mutual fund accounts or you'll see especially in CDs, again, you'll see it say transfer on death. When it transfers on death, again, 100% because the decedent, their title to the tree was in transfer on death. You, a decedent can't transfer somebody else's property. So that's 100%. A partnership or an S corp interest, what happens there is that interest there, the interest in the entity goes to 100% if it's owned by that particular individual. So the important thing here is that when you ask me the question, what is what is my basis if I sell or what's my gain? You can see how its title determines the answer to my question. So that's why you will hear me say we need to bring all this stuff in in order to go through and give proper advice.